Hello student, today we are going to solve a excellent gate question that has been asked in gate 2014. For the question you can look at the board. The question is, a frame is subjected to a load P as shown in the figure. The frame has a constant flexural rigidity EI. The effect of axial load is neglected. The deflection at point A due to the applied load P is. Okay. So in the question, deflection at the point A is asked where the load is applied. So this, so this is the frame for which the deflection at point A is asked. Here the point, the, the load P is acting at this point and this point is point A and this frame is fixed at this point. This length is L and this length is also L. Okay. So this is the question. One very important data is given in the question that the effect of axial load is neglected. A very important data is given that the effect of axial load is neglected. Question karte hum dekhenge ki iska use kaha pyaara ki haan pe hum neglect kar we have to find out the point A and find out the deflection at point A. So, deflection at point A. So, deflection is the method of applying the Castig Lawless theorem. So, Castig Lawless theorem is the strain energy. So, we will do the Castig Lawless theorem. Different methods we will find out the Castig Lawless theorem. For different different methods, we will find out the Castig Lawless theorem. For different 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 questions, we will find out the Castig Lawless theorem. For different 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 questions, we will find out the Castig Lawless theorem. For different 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 we are going to solve this question by Castig Lawless theorem. So, what we are, what we have to do in Castig Lawless theorem, we have to find out the strain energy. So, सबसे पहले हमको strain energy find out करनी इस पूरे part की. इसको divide करते हैं two parts में. First part is this and the second part is this one. इन दोनों part में divide करते हैं. फिर हम strain energy find out करते हैं दोनों parts की अलग अलग. पहले हम strain energy find out करते हैं part one की. देखते हैं जो total strain energy होगी U of this frame equals to u1 plus u2 where u1 is the strain energy for part 1 and u2 is the strain energy for this okay so u is the strain energy strain energy u now first we u1 find out karte. u1 generally strain energy u is given by for bending moment the strain energy the general formula for strain energy is 0 to L M X X square D X upon 2 E I. So, this is the formula, general formula to find out the strain energy due to bending moment at section X X. So, we will find out karte hai for part first. This part we find out karte hai uh, strain energy. So, U1 is given by 0 to L. This section varies from 0 to L. 0 to L. And now this load P. For that member, for member 1, this load P acts as transfer shear load. And due to the transfer shear load, the bending moment is varying in nature. Okay. So for this portion, for portion 1, the bending moment will be varying. And will and it will vary with respect to X. If we consider a section X at a distance X from point A, so at this section, the value of bending moment will be m x x and it is given by p into x. Okay. So in this case, the bending moment is varying linearly p x. So we will put the value of m x x in this equation as p x square d x upon 2 e m. This load p for the, for the, for part First, first part के लिए कैसा load है ये? Transfer shear load. And due to transfer shear load, the bending moment is varying in nature. Varying in nature. हमने varying in nature पूट किया यहाँ पे. अब इसको integrate करते हैं. Find out हो जाएगा. हमको strain energy मिल जाएगी for first part. ठीक है. तो strain energy for part 1 equals to constant terms को बाहर ले लेते हैं. P square divided by 2 E I. ये हो गया constant. Integration of x square dx. Integration of x square dx is x cube by 3. यहाँ पे आ जाएगा x cube by 3 and the limit is 0 to L. So finally U1 will be P square L cube upon 6 E I. 
So, strain energy for first part is P square L cube upon 6 EI. Now, we will find out the strain energy for this part, for the second part. Second part is strain energy find out. Karte. But second part ke liye, is the load P, hai, P load. P load for the second part, dekhte, kaisa load hai this is the longitudinal axis of the second part and this is the load. This is the load and this is the longitudinal axis of the second part. So, this is parallel to the longitudinal axis and away from the longitudinal axis. So, for the for second part, P load is eccentric axial load. And due to eccentric axial load, two types of loads will act. One is axial load and second one is bending moment. So, in this part, there will be an axial load whose magnitude is P and there will be a bending moment which is constant, not varying as in case of this. First part mein jo bending moment tha, wo kaisa tha varying tha. But second part mein jo bending moment hoga, wo kaisa hoga? Constant hoga. Kyun? Kyunki ye kaisa load hai? Eccentric axial load hai. Thik. To is part mein, second part mein jo bending moment hoga, wo varying hoga. Uski value hogi P into L. This distance. P into L. Constant. Constant bending moment. There will be constant bending moment in second part and its magnitude will be P into L. Question me line likhi hui Neglect the effect of axial load. Question me the effect of axial load is neglected. Ye word use hua tha. Ye word kyo use hua tha? Because second part me ek axial load bhi aara hai. Second part me ek axial load bhi hai. Bending moment ki alawa. Bending moment bhi hai aur axial load bhi hai. Agar axial load ko consider karne ko likha ho ta. Axial load ki wajah se jo strain energy aati hai. Due to axial load U is given by 0 to L. P x x where P x x is the axial load x x and x x square d x upon a e. Isko bhi consider karna hota humko. But question mein mention tha ek line ki it neglect the effect of axial load isliye isko humko consider nahi karna hai. Thik hai. Toh ab hum sirf bending moment ko consider karke find out kar lete hai strain energy in the second part. Or bending moment kaisa hai? Constant. Uski value kya hai? P into L. Thik hai. Toh second part ke liye u2 equals to 0 to L, this will end L. So 0 to L integrate karte hai. P L whole square D X upon 2 E I. Integrate karte hai. Let me value kitni aati hai. U2 equals to P square L Q upon 2 E I. The strain energy in the second part will be P square L Q upon 2 E I. Yagi hai strain energy. Add करते दोनों को total strain energy मिल जाएगी उनको u equals to u1 plus u2 u equals to u1 plus u2 u1 कितना दिया हमारा p square l cube p square l cube upon 6 ei plus p square l cube upon 2 ei add करते हैं देखते हैं total strain energy कितनी आ रही है Total strain energy आ रही हमारी 2 by 3 P square L cube upon E I. 2 by 3 P square L cube upon E I. यह हमें total strain energy in the frame by neglecting the effect of axial load. तो यह हमें total strain energy for the total frame. Question में क्या पूछा हुआ था? Find out, find the, find, uh, the deflection at point A due to the applied load P is. Deflection is point to push So according to Castigliano's theorem, the deflection at any point is given by the partial differentiation of the strain energy with respect to the load acting at that point. So uh, strain energy is our pass. Load acting at that point A is P. So we have to do this strain energy ko partially differentiate kar dena hai with respect to P. Okay. So we differentiate kar dete hai. del U over del P which is acting at point A. Partial differentiation of strain energy with respect to load acting at that point. Need to be 2 by 3 into 2 P L Q upon E I. So this is the deflection at point A. Deflection at point A is given by 4 by 3 P square L Q upon okay, P. P L Q upon E I. P L cube upon E I. So, deflection at point A is given by 4 by 3 P L cube upon E I. Thank you. Keep watching.